throughout the next couple of years this movie is going to be studied by damn near everybody on this planet on how to completely fumble and ruin a sequel to a beloved and a money making franchise i'm talking about a billion dollar franchise because the sequel completely shattered everything the first movie built this sequel completely destroyed and deconstructed everything this world and franchise has set in the first movie and i'm gonna be completely honest with you they did not need to make a sequel to the joker because it's like as if there is a sequel to the taxi driver doesn't work and that should not work these type of movies where they are so good and where the main character has gone through a lot these type of movies should be left alone they should just be standalone movies that people should just be going back and to reminisce on how great the story is and how great the characters are but no warner bros saw money they saw dollar signs they realized that this is a billion dollar franchise they saw that joaquin phoenix won a lot of awards when he was the joker and they wanted to milk this franchise and unfortunately we have joker folly ado that is started by joaquin phoenix as joker or arthur fleck and lady gaga as harley quinn i'll be honest with you i did not watch this full movie because i was in the movie theater watching this movie and every single time they did a singing part of the movie because this movie is a musical every time they started singing it's like as if i'm losing hp it's like as if i'm losing health points every single time i'm getting weaker and weaker and weaker i'm cringing and cringing and cringing because of how many songs they put in this movie and it's not as if like oh they'll just do one song and they won't do it for the next 20 minutes 25 minutes no they do a song every five minutes you can't go one scene without somebody humming or without somebody trying to sing then the guards tell them yo you can't sing right now stop talking every single five minutes there is a song and what makes it worse because when movies are doing movies you know they have songs licensed songs from musicians rappers singers whatever they have these licensed songs that play in the background depicting a montage or a scene that shows a character doing something so think about that this movie has that plus other musical songs with the main characters they even have one scene in the prison scene when there's about to be a riot and the prisoners are singing because joker or arthur fleck is known for now singing due to him meeting harley quinn now let me even talk about the story and the story i won't really try to talk about it too much because this movie is just so ass i'm not trying to give it the benefit of the doubt or anything but the movie starts off after the events of the first joker and we see arthur fleck he is in jail and he's about to get ready for trial for killing five people so we're starting to see that his lawyer is trying to plead with him to plead insanity and to act like he's insane and to prove that he's insane but that ultimately fails but before that fails joker now meets harley quinn and i do say lady gaga wasn't really that bad of an actor playing harley she played her part she tried to do her thing as harley and i want to say this right now i don't want to try to blame lady gaga for this but i do think that she had a hand in destroying this movie and turning this movie into a musical because lady gaga is a very well known and, and well renowned singer she's very great at singing she has great music she is basically a walk-in legend in the music industry but as an actor in my opinion she should have not been cast for this role because in hindsight we should have known that she would try to put her musical expertise onto the plot of the movie and that was what was done throughout the entire movie because as soon as he meets lady gaga slash harley quinn the musical starts they start to sing and one thing i do not like about the musicals is because 
they were depicting good shots that the joker sequel should have done in my opinion the movie should have been when they reach trial after joker meets lady gaga slash harley quinn they break out of the trial they escape the trial and they now go on the rampaging terror that their musicals were depicting in one of the songs we were seeing joker and harley quinn they were dancing on the rooftops of gotham and I was thinking, wow, they should have done that scene when they escaped, they're causing terror and mayhem, and they're doing that. But the first two thirds of the movie is just court case musical, court case musical, kissing Harley, court case musical, court case musical, kissing Harley. That's literally the whole first two thirds of the movie, and that was what caused me to walk out of the movie, in my opinion, because I just could not take it anymore. It was too much. You could not escape a single scene without seeing them sing and i'm like bro the joker as a character in dc comics sure yeah he has some comical moments where he starts to sing and dance but that's usually all for show to taunt batman or to taunt the gcpd police not his whole character because as soon as he meets harley quinn he starts to want to sing he wants to be a singer and the annoying part about the musicals is that they're mostly all in joker's head like there's one time when he was on trial and they were reading off all of the crimes he was doing and even sophie duman was there and she was telling joker that your mom never liked you she lied about telling you that you were sent to earth to be good to make people happy when she was saying that joker was in his daydreams in his thoughts about a musical with harley quinn and i'm like bro that could have been done in that scene because that musical that joker was with harley quinn they were killing the plaintiffs and killing the people inside the courtroom now someone correct me if they actually did that in the movie because around that time period i walked out of the movie theater i was not about to finish that movie because this movie was a drag it was a chore a boring chore in my opinion and we're seeing the downfall of this movie because we're looking at it right now we're seeing that the director of this movie has called quits he has left productions and he's saying that he's never going to work for dc again again because todd phillips just says he's done with dc after the joker too and damn that's crazy just this movie is tanking everything that this franchise was building and it's unfortunate because joaquin phoenix is legendary as a joker he's great under heath ledger he's probably top two but since this movie came out now i gotta say that the joker in batman 1989 is higher than joaquin phoenix but that's the end of the video, man. I did not like this movie. I had to walk out mid-movie. And if I'm seeing the endings are true that Arthur Fleck got stabbed in prison and he's not even the actual Joker of this universe, it's some other motherfucker that we haven't even seen. If that ending is true, fuck this universe, man. They didn't have to do this. The first movie was great. It was peak. Now this is ass. That's the end of the video. I'm out. Peace.